Welcome to another Kotlin programming tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about how the while and do while loop works in Kotlin programming language. The while and do while use the same syntax as it is in Java. Here is the basic syntax of using while and do while loop. We have the while keyword, then we have a boolean condition, we have the loop body. So the loop body will execute until the condition is found to be false. Here also the same thing in the case of do while. The basic difference between while and do while is for for the in the case of while, first check the condition, then only execute the loop body. But in the case of do while, first execute the loop body, then only it check the condition. Or we can simply say that while is an entry control loop but do while is an exit control loop. Now we can create some examples for the while and do while loop. Here I simply create a variable count. Initialize that variable with the sum value 0. Now start some while loop. So here I specify the boolean condition count less than or equal to 10. Now print the variable count now increment variable count by 1 check the program output so here it is simply prints variable count from 0 to 10 so when variable count is 10 then it is increment into 11. In that case, this boolean condition is false. So the loop body will exit. So now I will show you an example of using two while loop. So create some variable. Number one, it's a string variable. Now create another variable. Number two, that is also a string variable. Now create another variable is continue that is also a string variable. Now start some do while loop. Ask the user to enter some number. So the user enter some number. So we can save that one into variable number one. Now ask the user to enter the second number. And save that variable, save that value into variable number 2. Ok. So now print the sum of these two numbers. number 1 plus variable number 2 equal to so here number 1 number 2 are string variables so first we have to convert that one into integer so number 1 dot 2 int plus number 2 dot 2 int So now we can ask the user whether he want to continue or not. And do you want to continue? Uh, enter yes or no. Okay, read that one into variable is continue. Now specify the while and specify the condition is continue equal to capital Y or is continue 
equal to small letter y so here is continue is a string variable so we have to use double quotes here okay so now we can check the program so run it so enter the first number enter the second number do you want to continue yes enter other number do you want to continue now so this is how the while and do while loop works in Kotlin programming language